Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am back with another gorgeous wig. I mean, gorgeous as in the company and the look. I have this long 18 inch bang wig. You guys, let me just tell you something. I've reviewed for gorgeous wigs before, and I absolutely love the wig that they previously sent me. It almost looked just like this wig, right? It was just a bob. I mean, I wore that bob over and over and over and over because you really can just throw it on and go. Like, everybody wanted me to sell them that wig, and I was like, no, 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 no. I absolutely love that wig, and a lot of you guys do too. So, we're going to move into what I am going to talk about today, which is the exact same wig almost, except it's longer, okay? So, if you're ready to see this wig, please continue to watch. all right guys as always let me show you how it came packaged i love this box the color everything i think this is just as important as the wig because it showed the care the company put into their products and you guys know i absolutely love when they give us freebies with our wigs so there's a bag in case you don't keep the box you do have another makeup type bag that they give you i absolutely love that bag look how cute that is and you get wig caps so here are the wig caps there are two pieces in this well, let's hop into this bag that will double as a makeup bag there is a set of tweezers in this bag an edge brush which you will not need at all with this wig but they do sell different type of wigs there are bobby pins clips to clip your wig back and style it and you have a band in case you want to put a band in your wig so here's the bag with a drawstring if you don't want to keep the box this is good for storing your wigs in so let's talk a little bit about the wig. It is a true scalp bang wig, the most natural looking bang style with pre-bleached HD lace on top to create a realistic parting. Realistic parting, guys, I couldn't get that out. So it is HD, it is pre-bleached, and it looks so real. This is the inside right here. There are two combs on the side. There is a band um, to make it tighter. There is a comb at the back and an adjustable strap that I love. You guys know I love adjustable straps because it makes the wigs fit so tight, okay? So let's get into installing this, which is going to be super easy. This is a Yaki straight uh, texture and the length is 18 inches, just in case I didn't say that. Let's go through a quick install. I'm putting the wig cap on. That's very simple. This is I won't even say five minutes because after you comb it your first time, you can just put this wig on in 30 seconds and wear it because I do the short bob one like that all the time. So I've already crisscrossed my adjustable straps at the back. I do that with every single wig I wear. That's what make it tight. And we're just going to put it on. I'm going to go through step by step how I make this lay flat. I do not like the helmet head type look or like I'm wearing a baseball cap. So I try to make this flat as possible. I start by using a rat tail comb combing through the wig all of the kinks and stuff and then look at this realistic it looks like my scalp like I can't believe that but anyway let's just go ahead and adjust it I pull it back because I will not cut the bang so that's a little hack instead of cutting the bangs just pull the wig back I'm gonna take the Kara wax stick what this do when I push the wax up what this is going to do is allow me to tame my flyaways at the top i want this to look so neat and put together and precise and then i just take a bristle brush and comb that wax in do not go too far down with the wax because we still want the wig to have body and if you go too far down with that wax it start making your wig really stiff and grease down and it's just not a look good look so make sure you only put that wax at the top I'm gonna take some hairspray, this is holding spray, and I'm just gonna spray that at the top as well to make sure none of that top part moves out of place. And I'm gonna take that same brush while I use my hands to put the hairspray in a little bit more and I'm gonna eventually brush it in as well. But this is how I make sure that it's laying flat. It don't look like I just got something sitting on top of my head. So now I'm just going to take my flat irons and just bump the bangs. Like I really don't need to do any of this right. Like the wig was almost good straight out the box, but I'm just showing you guys what I do every time I apply this bang wig. 
And then after I flat iron the bangs, I just go through with the brush because I like it to lay flat, flat, okay? So now just flat iron the rest of the hair like it don't really need it. And I like that there aren't any flat iron marks in the hair. I love the texture of this hair. It's like that good, good yakky texture that almost mimics african-american hair that is relaxed um sometimes hair can be too thinny silky finish and i don't like that so it's like a happy medium between yakky and silky straight so i'm just gonna show you look at that guys five minutes that's all that took probably didn't even take five minutes right five minutes so let me give y'all a little show so you can see the full length here's a 360 so you can see how 18 inches fall on me i am 5'4 okay for reference and look at this it is just bum it's flowy it's perfect it's easy to put on you don't have to worry about cutting any lace gelling down any baby hairs none of that you just throw it on and go it is just bum. So I will leave the link and a discount code to Gorgeous Hair below. Make sure you check them out. Bye.